Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanna be happy, happy Okay, so you know when I was editing all my videos I was constantly pausing for cars. Thanks. And then when I was editing them I could barely hear them so it didn't really matter that much anyways. But watch this be the one time that you can hear them and I don't stop because I'm sick of stopping and I'm sick of editing all the pauses out. Today's video, oh, there's also going to be Zach yelling in the background because he just got home from school. Cool. Um, today's video isn't unique. Um, I have done this before. I liked it a lot when I did it last time so I thought I would do it again. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. But either way, I'm going to film it because I liked it last time because it was a challenge, it was fun, it was stressful. But it was fun. I'm bad at describing things, but like it's in the title. You know what it is. I've done one before. If I haven't, what? If I haven't, I have. I just said that. Also, sorry for the bad fake tan. We're just gonna ignore it. If you have, <laughs> if you, not me. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the other one I would advise you go and watch it after this one so it makes a little bit more sense even though it's pretty self-explanatory so you don't have to watch it but like it'd be cool if you did um I'll leave it up in the cards somewhere I think I know how to do that yeah YouTube things you know I mean hey how are you guys going let me know in the comments let's get into the video I'm going to use a random letter generator on my iPad I don't know how to get a website to work I can't do it that way so I'm just gonna ask Siri okay um, is my volume turned up? No, it's not. I don't want it too loud. Pick a number from 1 to 26. 2. So B. Cool. So B. B is the letter then. All the hassle. 10 minutes of filming. Just for B. It's fine. Okay. Well, what happened there? Also, don't mind all the mess. You can see, like, everything on my bed. My room is a mess. It's just, we're ignoring everything because I can't be bothered. So, I'm going to now show you the palettes I have. I have a lot of repeats from the last time because, like, I have the same palettes. So, like, that's just how it's going to have to be. I do also have a couple new ones. I had Jawbreaker in the last challenge. Let's open it up and see if there's any starting with B. Yep. One. Two. I have a feeling I'm going to have way too many shades to choose from because I picked up a lot of eyeshadow palettes this time because last time I felt like I didn't have enough colours now with B I'm definitely going to have too many so um, you can't have too many because um, like I said in the last video if you haven't watched it I don't have to use every single shade because it's just not realistic because if I did get 21 shades I'm not going to be able to fit 21 shades on my eye so it just doesn't make sense but um yeah, I get to pick the shades, but I'm only allowed to pick the shades that start with B. Um, yeah, I can't just pick a random one and be like, oh, this would look nice with this. Like, no, it has to start with B. But yeah, so the ones from Jawbreaker that start with B is Bubblegum. Pretty straightforward. Um, where's the other one? Brain Freeze. Blue. That's nice so far. It's looking pretty nice. I can, I can make do with that. And then Bite Me. That's a purple one. So I can make you with those colours so far. I'm liking the options. So. The next one that we did last time was the Morphe Jeffree Star one. More Jeffree Star. Okay, the first one is back. Do you even know what just happened then? Because I really don't. <laughs> um, the first one is back, which is just this pink shade. Sorry. And then the other one was Boss Angels. So, brown. Could be a nice transition shade. We'll see if I want to use it or not. I did the, the Vault collection last time as well. Um, so we'll go through those really quick. So Dark Magic, Busted. That blue shade. Wing Boss. It is literally alliteration of B. So pretty sure there's going to be one in here. Yep. Bling Bling. Is that one? And Ballsy. <laughs> is that one? Ring the Alarm. Boom. Bomb. We're gonna have way too many 
captions. Not me complaining about having too many as opposed to not enough last time. Armed and gorgeous. Finally, one that does not have one. Feel good about that. I don't remember if I used this one last time. I might have, but I honestly don't remember. But, oh well. It's just Bing, which is just that highlight shade there. We're going to do the Jaclyn Hill palette because the shade names are on the back. So, Bean again. <laughs> nice. So Bean is that one. Oh, this one I use all the time. That's convenient. Um, Butter is the one under it. Also use that one all the time. Very convenient. Then Buns is that one. Right? It's not like crazy, but oh well. Oh, that one. Now I just touched everything and I have nowhere to wipe my hands. So it's absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to wipe it on my sleeve. I thought Party Animal would be a good one by Laura Lee. Los Angeles. I'm so clumsy. Damn it. I was hoping that it didn't have anything in it because I'm just having too many shades, but bottoms up. That one. The shiny pink one. So it's probably not going to get used anyways because with the colours that I've been given, I don't know if I want to do pink because it would be too easy and less of a challenge and I kind of want a challenge a little bit. So we'll see. And the last one is Fierce by Mikael, that Morphe one, because I have the sleeve in there that tells me the shade names, because they don't otherwise tell you. That's it, Ball of Fire. Ball of Fire is that bright orange shade right there. Well, I need to do the rest of my face first. Okay, I just spent like the last 20 minutes messing around with eyelashes because I've never been able to wear them before, because um, uh, they scare me. I don't like putting things in my eyes and I've never been able to put them on. But these ones are like magnetic ones and they came in like a, um, like a full strip. Um, but I ended up just cutting them into little pieces and putting them on that way because I could not put it on as a full strip. My eye wasn't long enough, I had to cut them anyways. So I just cut them up into little pieces like around the magnet magnets. And yeah, this is what I've gotten from it. So I will try and put them on at the end. I really doubt I'll be able to get them on, on in the end with all the eyeshadow on because I'm gonna be too worried about messing it up because I had to like really touch my eyes to do this, which I can't do with eyeshadow on. So yeah, but I just wanted to show you like, it's okay, it's not good because you can see the separation and everything like that where I've like literally cut them up into little pieces and just, yeah. Um, but I'm pretty impressed with myself because I've never been able to wear lashes and this looks from far away like I've got fake lashes on, but um, I, I don't, they're just magnets, so. But yeah, I just thought I'd document that because that's never happened before. So I guess let's just get into the video. We are racing against time here. It's four o'clock and it gets dark at like 4.45, so we're really racing against the clock. You could definitely tell by like the start of the video, it's gotten a lot darker since then. The bedroom is a mess, you can see in the mirror. Um, and my mirror is gross and you can see my little things that make me happy up there just in case you're wondering Things like that make me happy. Oh, I also forgot to show you that I have this palette It was sitting away from my other palette, so I forgot I had it. So let's quickly check. Okay, Boss Lady Oh god, there's a lot in here. There's three in here. Boss Lady Beautiful, Magical, Wonderful and Beat Pop. So those I have as well so I could do like an orangey pinky look so then it's not straight pink because I don't love straight pink. We're going to go in with the bright orange shade in that Morphe palette, the Ball of Fire one. And we're going to really try and tuck it in like the inner, what is that? Sorry. The inner part of the eye. Oh my god, look. <laughs> um, this is Ivan's when you fake tan but then wash your hands a bajillion times because COVID. Um, and it all comes off. Now you see what I really look like. and why I picked it in. Um, yeah. I really hope this goes as smoothly as I'm picturing in my head, but I'm realizing these shades probably aren't going to blend as well on my eyelids than they are the back of my hand, because I really rubbed at the back of my hand to make them blend, and I really don't want to do that to my eyeball, so this is going to be fun. I look crazy. Star palette, the Jawbreaker palette, and we're doing that right next to the orange. Don't worry, I'm going to try my hardest to make sure this look isn't too bland and boring. We are going in with a different colour as well. I know I said I was going to do orange and pink, which I am, but I also thought that you guys would get a bit bored because that's pretty plain. Like, obviously, they are two bright colours. But it is still pretty plain, so I'll go in with more colours, don't worry. The next shade is going to be...
going to be blue and you can probably tell what's happening now is I am going to put it there but then create purple. I have a brush here, it is stained purple, there's no colour coming off on this, it's just stained purple but I'm going to use it to like concentrate the purple colour and not get too much purple on this because then it's not going to come out blue anymore, you know? Don't have to explain colour theory to you guys but whatever. So we're going with Brain Freeze from the same Drawbreaker palette and we're just going to pat it and like really try and deposit colour because I do know that once you start blending these specific pastel colours in this palette they literally blend to nothing like it's like you never put it on. Um, so I'm really trying to deposit colour and then I'll slowly drag it up to create that purple gradient. But yeah, you really need to deposit the colour first and then drag it up. both the colours and placing it in the middle and blending either side and then see how it comes too far over it's when you get the pink and yeah so it's a lot of messing around I probably won't show you this whole process because it's going to take way too long I've been recording for 20 minutes so yeah we don't want this video to be over an hour long but basically I am just explaining to you that it is a lot of fidgeting and going back and forth with the different brushes and the different colours and I'm just doing it until I feel like I'm happy with it. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's literally getting wiped off at the end of the day so who really cares. But um, yeah, until I'm happy with it I'm going to keep going. But I will save you guys the hassle of watching that so I'll see you when I'm happy with what I've got. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get for now because I already know that with the Jeffree Star eyeshadows, like you need a really good sticky eyeshadow base for the eyeshadows to stick to because as you can see, they just really don't stick and they just wipe away literally into nothing. And yeah, you can literally see it on my eyes. It is not sticking, so this is kind of the best I can actually do because I don't have a real eyeshadow base to make this look any better so it's a little bit unfortunate how you can literally tell that it is not sticking to my eyeballs whatsoever but it is what it is and it's not the end of the world it doesn't matter but um yeah this is the best we're gonna get for now and now we're going to move on okay well I'll do bite me that's intimidating don't know if you can even see that but we'll put that oh god I should have done, hmm, I should have done Bite Me in the Middle and I should have done that dark blue shade from Dark Magic on the, oh, that would make so much more sense. I don't know if it's possible to go back now. Whoa, pigmented, I'm sure it is then. Okay, it is. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to get this really close to the waterline, even though that's not working at all as I'm saying that. Um, because I'd rather um, blend it out with the, the the lighter shade. Because I don't personally love the dark shade on me, but we've already started doing it. I'm gonna go and bite me now. Oh, that really. Oh, I need to learn from my mistakes. I forgot how much. This Jawbreaker palette hurts when you put it like in your eyes. When you put any of the shimmery shades in your eyes, it like burns. Learn from your mistakes guys, because I clearly don't learn from mine. Oh my god, it hurts! Holy shit! This is actually so dangerous, like... Okay, well... Holy crap. Oh my god. Ugh. And then we can do the... The... Oh my god. The pink shade on the inner corner. Holy shit. Do not ever do this. Like, I really don't recommend it. I am going through so much pain right now. Just for a video. 
right now it doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually about to cry. Like, this is so excruciatingly painful. Jeffree Star, fix your shit. By the way, guys, I'm not actually blaming Jeffree Star. It's not his fault at all because he does pull on the packaging. Like, not for I use and stuff like that. He does disclaim that. Like, he knows you're not supposed to put it in your eyes. Um, but I'm just an idiot, so... This one by Laura Lee Los Angeles does not hurt at all. I, I am putting this literally in my waterline and I can't feel the thing. Like it doesn't hurt at all. So there is something weird for Jeffrey's formula, formula actually. I just don't know what. Oh, that went on my eyeball. But like it doesn't hurt. <laughs> I could just like see that I put it on my eyeball instead of in my waterline and it still didn't hurt. But there is something weird about Jeffrey's formula then because this is completely fine for some reason. It doesn't burn at all. But Jeffrey's shades, like their shimmery shades, near the eyeballs, I, it hurts so bad. Like it stings and burns and like literally makes you think that your eyeball's gonna fall out. Like I don't know how to describe it. Okay, well those two blend nicely together to create the same sort of gradient so I kind of like where this is going so far it is definitely not just orange and pink <laughs> considering we only had one real purple shade to work with that started with B creating that purple shade out of the other two shades that started with B was pretty smart and I'm pretty proud of myself so <laughs> really um hacked the system a little bit there but okay well we're going to put bite me <sighs> on the outer part of my lid and then we're gonna go in with bomb ass probably shouldn't be using the same finger but whatever and put that one there okay yeah, then from bling boss what bling boss that's too dark is that light enough though mm, that could work maybe I'm gonna take bling bling and put it on the inner part. Actually, I kind of wanted to do beam for that, so should I? Yeah, well, I need to even it out. Oh, so. okay. Beam was this one, which is yellow, so it's like probably not going to look as good as the other one in terms of like coloring, but I just can't get over how bright and beautiful beam is, that's why it's called beam. And I really like a bright inner corner, so it's just what's gonna happen, okay? See, I don't know, I just really love a bright inner corner. It is so pretty to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know it doesn't look good because the lighting is uneven, but that is even now. It doesn't look because the lighting's uneven though. Oh god. I don't know how to make it look more even because it just is like when I tilt my head this way. <laughs> It is, it is, it's even. <laughs> but the lighting makes it look awful. Look how white my lips are. <laughs> oh my god. Got way too much foundation on them, look at that. And, yep, bling bling, and we're going to try and put it underneath our brow bone, but it's not coming off onto the brush. It's a bit of an issue. There we go, that kind of worked. And in true eyelash fashion, these ones don't curl up and these ones do. Now I could try and put those fake eyelashes on, but I don't know how well it's going to go. Oh, this is actually scary. myself in the eye and my eyes are gonna cry. My eyes gonna cry. I'm going to cry. Okay. That looks okay, awful. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and pretend like it looks half decent when it doesn't. But it kind of looks okay from far away, so And 
And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of blush on, which obviously has nothing to do with the eyeshadow shades. I'm so washed out. But I do think it will go kind of nicely with this look, even though I'm not a big blush person. Look at all the texture in my forehead, like holy crap. Oh, a little bit too much blush. Definitely overdid it there. Okay, now you can really see the mess on my bed. Sorry that the lighting changed so much and it wasn't very consistent. Sorry that this angle is a bit tilted, like everything's going wrong. I'm finishing off the video now, so don't worry about it. But this is the final look. I will go and take a better video to insert because this is just not gonna work. Yeah, everything about the ending of this video is just really bad. And my eyelashes are atrocious. But, oh well. <laughs> it probably wasn't as entertaining as I was, like, thinking in my head that it would originally be. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Not everything works out. Shit happens, you know? But thank you guys so much for watching the video anyways. I love you guys. Um, I'll see you in my next video. I don't know when that'll be. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it or not. If not, you probably didn't. Subscribe for more content. I'm uploading pretty regularly now. I'm getting back into the swing of things and it feels really good, so I'm really happy about it. Yeah, so this is all what I created with the letter B. You know what I mean. Anyways, I'm going to see you in the next video. Sorry for being so annoying. Bye, guys.